On a cold, wintry night in Cambridge, Massachusetts, an SUV equipped with state-of-the-art sensor technology is roaming the streets. Outside, it's near pitch black, but the laptop screens operating inside are glowing with colors, showing the heat signature of each house the car passes by. Sanjay Sarma, a professor of mechanical engineering at MIT, says those vivid colors represent a lot more than heat. What you should really see is dollar bills flying out of the building. Right? That's really what's happening. You're just throwing away dollar bills. They're flying out. And we can grab those dollar bills and return them to the consumer. To catch all that money, Sarma set up a company called ESES. The company has developed technology which can generate accurate heat loss analysis for a home in a matter of seconds. What the system is really designed for is simply to measure the heat flow against the building facade in as accurate a manner as possible such that we can really you know, deliver actionable advice around what improvements to make in the home from an energy saving standpoint. That is Tom Scarmolino, the CEO of ESES. He says this scan technology accomplishes in a short drive-by what used to take hours using conventional scanning techniques. To make that possible, Sarma and his team fitted a car with infrared cameras to sense heat, conventional cameras for orientation, a LiDAR sensor which uses lasers to measure depth and map the surroundings, and a GPS to pinpoint location. Sarma says it would take a human months to analyze the terabytes of raw data produced by his technology. But he and his team have developed machine learning algorithms, which he says can produce results in minutes. The potential of the technology, says Scarmolino, is enormous. From my standpoint, you know, you have over 130 million homes in this country. Uh, with our system, we can scan all of those homes very, very cheaply. And you can use this technology really as a sort of an intelligence gathering mechanism for our surroundings to see what's working, what's not. You know, it's just a, it's a way to make cities more efficient, buildings more efficient, infrastructure more efficient. Sarma says more efficient infrastructure is good for the environment as well. Another reason, he says his technology is a hot tool even in the dead of winter.